Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I wanna share my five favorite landscape photography apps for you so you can crush your next landscape photo right after this. Hey, what's up guys? And welcome into the video. I'm David Johnson. And on this channel, we talk landscape photography, taking you out into the field, showing you how to shoot different things, post-processing techniques and gear reviews. So if you're new here, or if you're into landscape photography at all, consider subscribing below. Now in this video specifically, we're talking landscape photography apps. What are the best apps you can use as a landscape photographer to go out and crush the next photograph that you want to take? There are a lot of apps out there, but I've really narrowed it down to five of my favorite apps for landscape photography that I think can help you out on your next photography adventure. Now, before we get started, I need to tell you, none of these apps pay me or these companies pay me. I'm just sharing these with you because I think they're the best five apps out there that can help you get better photographs on your next landscape trip. So let's start this rundown with number five. Number five is an app called TripIt. TripIt is an app when you're going on a landscape photo trip away from your home saying you have to go fly somewhere, rent a car, get a hotel room, whatever you do, everything is planned in TripIt. Like, you know when you get to the airport and you have to shuffle through all these different apps that you've booked airlines, you've booked a car through, maybe you did like a package deal on something like Expedia.com, TripIt bundles all of those plans into one app so you're not fumbling through like multiple apps to get to what you need to do. When you use TripIt, it gives you your flight number, flight time, layover times, it gives you your next flight time, where you're getting your car rental, when you have to return at your hotel, and it puts everything in chronological order for you so that you can find everything really, really fast. TripIt is really beneficial for me because I hate flipping through all these apps like a lot of people do, just trying to find one bit of information. It's all in TripIt. Number four app that I think you should get as a landscape photographer to help you take better photographs is an app called All Trails. Now, All Trails is a good app for when you're going out and planning a location to go shoot. I used it when I went and shot at Weaver's Needle in Arizona. Here's the card for that video if you wanna go watch it and watch me hiking that trail and shooting Weaver's Needle at sunset. But it's a really good app for you to plan out your trails ahead of time. A lot of times you get to a trail and you don't really know what to expect. Maybe you read about it on a blog. In all trails, what's good about it is you can plan distances, elevation gain, you can read reviews on the trail, helpful tips for the trail, so you know what to expect before you get into it. That's what I used when I went out to Arizona to be able to know when I needed to start the trail to finish right at sunset so I didn't waste any time and then get back to my car before the sun actually set all the way down and it got completely dark. All trails really helped me a lot with that. Number three app on the apps that I think you should get as a landscape photographer is an app called Storm. Storm is the best weather app I've ever found for landscape photography. It's super helpful whenever you're going to shoot. Number one, it's extremely accurate and that you need that as a landscape photographer going out and shooting in inclement weather. It also gives you percentages on cloud cover and the percentage chance of rain whenever you're in a specific area. So let's say you need to go shoot at 6 p.m. Well, you can look a few hours ahead on that and see what the percentage of cloud cover is and what the percentage of rain chance is for that given time. It's really, really helpful if you want clear skies to shoot the Milky Way, if you want cloudy skies to shoot waterfalls, if you want 50% cloud cover on sunrise and sunset so you get good cloud color. All these things go into planning when you need to be at certain locations for different shots, and Storm is a really good option for that. I use the cloud cover percentage chance on Storm more than any other feature in the app because that allows me to plan out 
how and where I need to go shoot for the day. So we're up to app number two on the list and app number two is an app called The Photographer's Ephemeris. Now, I used to use this app a really long time ago and it was really good, but I've actually found a better app than it that's going to be number one on the list. That's called a tease, so stick around for that one. But The Photographer's Ephemeris is really good and they've recently made some high quality updates for this app for it to be even better. So Photographer's Ephemeris is good for planning your photographs out. Where's the sun going to be in the sky? What time does the sunrise and sunset? What's the moon phase gonna be? It's a really good app for you to plan out timing of a photograph and where to be to get a really good composition. And they've actually recently updated the app to include an augmented reality feature where you can hold your phone up to the sky and it will show you where things are going to be at any given time. But now we're up to number one on the list. The one upper to the photographer's ephemeris is photo pills. Photo pills is by far the most helpful, most powerful, highest quality, easiest to use photography app that I've ever found in my entire life. I use photo pills every single time I go out to shoot. I did a Milky Way planning video on how to use photo pills to plan out your Milky Way. You can watch that video with this card right here showing up in the top corner of your screen. This is a very powerful app that will allow you to, much like the photographer's ephemeris, find where the sun and moon is going to be at any position during the day. Where's the Milky Way gonna be? What's the best night to shoot the Milky Way? This is going to give you different moon phases. Where's the sun going to be? Timing of sunrise and sunset. It's gonna give you depth of field calculations. It's gonna tell you how long you need to shoot for lengthy star trails. It's gonna give you all these options all into one and it's better than photographer's ephemeris in my opinion because it is so much easier to use it's way more user friendly than photographer's ephemeris it probably took me about two weeks to figure it out really really use it well in the field using all the features but if it takes you longer they even have a tutorial section built in on the app so that you can use it and the best part is a lot of times I'm shooting in national parks where there's not good cell service. The augmented reality feature on PhotoPills actually works offline where you can see where everything is going to be at any given point, any given time, any given day of the year. It's an amazing app and I highly recommend that you buy it. So those are my five photography apps for landscape photography that I use every single time that I go take a trip to shoot or just go out and shoot anywhere. They're very good for planning. They're very good for getting the right shot and being in the right position to get the shot of your dreams. Like a lot of times you picture a shot in your mind and you wanna replicate that in proof, like on your computer screen, on your camera's LCD screen, you need these apps to help you plan and successfully shoot these types of photograph. I highly recommend them whenever you're going out to shoot. If you like this video at all or found it useful, don't be shy, hit the thumbs up, comment below on other apps you might know of that might be helpful to other people for landscape photography. And always, if you're into landscape photography at all, consider subscribing below. Now, if you wanna keep watching, that's always an option. Here's that Milky Way video using PhotoPills planning that I told you about a little while ago that you can watch now, or here's a video that YouTube is suggesting that you watch based on your search terms.